Hello, sorry about short lighting, um, and it's decided to snow and hail today, which is obviously fantastic if you're a penguin. I'm not a penguin, so it sucks. Um, so I'm having to try and like counterbalance with one curtain closed and one curtain open and like a light on in the background. I decorated my wall today. Good listeners, you just Christmas decorations. Anyway, today um, I'm going to review um, The Witch in the Wardrobe Clothing, which is actually a local store to me. It's a small alternative store. Uh, they do do, they're based in Oliver's if you're actually local. Uh, they do do like some other things obviously, um, like ornaments and kind of old vintagey things. But if not, they do alternative clothing, ornaments, kind of like the, what are they called? Little bobblehead doll things and loving dead dolls and like canvases and artwork and stuff, along with ornaments, ashtrays, kind of stuff like plugs, my little cheap silicons, and basics like bandanas and silly stuff. And um, they also do Poison Industries and Hell Bunny and all the other brands, uh, Vixen, etc. Um, I ordered a couple of things online, as usually I just nip in the store and buy them, but the sales better online. Right now, well, to me anyway, I'm not sure if it's just that I'm blind and can't do all those standing reading tags for half an hour. But they do have their website, I'll link it below. They've got Facebook, uh, the women's lovely. So they're dead easy to deal with, they're not one of those companies that's kind of like here trying to like, get an answer for a week and a half. Like, come on, help, please. Um, if you're a local with come on, like, you can nip into the store and obviously ask in store. Um, postage wasn't too dear, but I waited. I got postage as well for the sake of being able to review properly delivery and everything. Um, I ordered it Thursday night, uh, it was dispatched Friday morning and I got it on Monday and considering there's no deliveries on Sunday, that's pretty quick if you ask me. The postage is three quid, it's not expensive, it's not more than a bus up the town to me so ain't that much expense. <laughs> um, anyway, on to what I got. Oh, I got da -da -da -da, the skirt that I put on Instagram this morning, which is, I put a picture of everything on Instagram this morning, all packed. The skirt I got on Instagram, which is this. Kind of like a PVC esque fabric. It's quite hard and like stiff, which is quite good because it doesn't blow about with a mad woman. And it's got a little chill underskirt. It's got the corset back, got the buckles that all go around, and it zips up the back. For easy entry, you don't worry, you're not having to like try and pull on all these chains and buckles and everything. It's just zip my back. Um, it's really comfy on and it's a good fit. It's a lovely size and um, it's again nice. It's not too short, like you could wear this with tights, not just leggings. Um, it's not going to be like your full butt is in it. Like, I have seen some of those skirts and that is what worries me. Um, everything in, in this today as well I got in the sale from them, which is why I was so excited to play with them because sale codes are very rapid full price codes. <laughs> um, um, the other things that I got was, you won't can see this properly and I know it, I will stay back. Excuse the sweatpants. Um, a blue, okay, blue and green. Um, <laughs> I'm doing the dress thing. Green kind of bats, like 50s esque skater skirt style dress. I, I could just pause and put everything on and off, but work extra. <laughs> I suck at editing right now to it because, well, obviously, I'm just using my iPhone to film things quickly for the sake of A, I don't have a fancy camera, B, I don't know what about buying a fancy camera. I know nothing about technology. <laughs> but yeah, uh, again, it's a lovely soft fabric. It actually has and then inside, like, these padded cups. I don't know about anyone else, but I do have quite a lot of boobage. And that can, oh, jumping out the camera. Um, that can be a problem when it comes to ordering clothes. In fact, I'm literally about the windows like that now, because it's just, like, I can't see. Can you see that? That is outside my house. That is why I don't shop outdoors. Yeah, sorry you again. Sorry you came in. Um, that's when that's it. And if you can hear it in the background, I'm sorry. I'm not the way I want. And the other things are for like a pound each and that's why I ordered them because I'm not sure. It says on the website you can wear them over a black dress top. It's like kind of these. I like red colours. They're from Poison Industries. That's the big tag just whacks itself in the way. Um, they were a quid each and they just kind of like lace up. They remind me like camisoles, like kind of lingerie, but they're really quite a dry fabric for that, so I would not recommend <laughs> we're doing those with nothing at least. They are see through, like, like see through, see through. Um, there's a pink one, too. Pink, pink to match my hair. In front of it. Um, but yeah, it says you can wear them like styling ideas. Oh, pulling the wrong bit. Was over the top of like, there we go. 
a black dress top, which I will do, and I will post an outfit of the day via Instagram. But they are like that see through. Like, you can see my arm here. <laughs> so yeah, I'd say like maybe to dress up like leggings and a vest top. I don't know. I'll try it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, and again, I'm all white. Marvelous clothes, you know. I don't like weather. Um, but yeah, like they were again not very expensive all that, not a big order either. I had ordered another top but it was out of stock so never got it but um, again I was told like that day, it was, sorry it was out of stock kind of thing, uh, customer service was really quick and um, really quick dispatch. In store is always good too, um, no complaints either way but obviously I wanted to try the online experience because there's no point in me reviewing something online and getting it in store like coming in like I bought this today in a shop Um, you can't get it, tough. <laughs> so um, I did the online thing for that obvious sake. Um, I know it sounds a bit daft getting a courier to bring something um, about a mile down the road but obviously I could have said oh yeah they're a great store, easy to work with and then the actual delivery process was a pain in the butt because with smaller businesses obviously some of them will wait and mass haul things um, I have bought stuff from there before, I've bought like uh, the stock sick plugs ears, like earrings which are like snow globes and blood globes and that um, and what else have I got? I got a necklace before so they do have the jewelry lines um can't remember what it was like to tattoo and things and it's not in anywhere near here right now as always double check da, da, da. no it's not on my table so it's not near here um anyway thank you for listening to me rabble on for a good six odd minutes now so that makes nearly seven um enjoy have fun oh one last thing that came in the post today was a skit from joe brown i'll show that because i put it on instagram um again joe brown's a big company so just a big sparkly kind of heavy skirt um, chuck it in there because I'm not going to make a video for this is a skirt I got because um, again that would be like another 6 minutes of me yapping at the camera like an incessant madwoman um, thank you, bye